What's good, movement game? What's good, movement game? How y'all doing? Y'all doing good? I'm doing good. Hopefully, y'all doing good. Cause you know most people not you know not doing good. You know it's y'all know. But but anyways, I want to come with this video. Um, <clears throat> I me just. Cause I'm bringing another video. I told y'all, man, I'm back. I know I missed the 26th, the 27th. Yes. I did post on the 25th, but I missed the 26th and the 27th of putting out, you know, video. Cause I, I was like, I was gonna put out like, you know, a couple of videos of on the uh, 26th, and I missed that. And I'm missing that day and the 27th. So you know, I I gotta come, I gotta come back. You know, I don't, you know, I don't really stay away. I, I I come back and I be up on it, man, and post. Most days I miss like a couple, like I don't even, I don't even really try to miss a couple of days. One day at the most, you know. I see YouTube, they miss like months and months. You know what I mean? You know, especially YouTube, like getting paid. You know, because they fan base still gonna be there. Cause you know, when you, you know. YouTuber that that got a steady fan base that supports, you know what I mean? Cause as you keep going, you gonna have that. As you keep going and you really grow and grow and grow, keep working, 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 never give up, and you and your channel growing and growing and growing. Eventually, you are gonna have a steady fan base. You feel me? Like they gonna stick around. So matter if you if you didn't post in two months, you come back, they gonna they, your fans still gonna support. You know what I mean? That's how it is. That's what I see with other YouTubers, like, you know, but, um, I still can't call myself a legit, legit YouTuber until, you know, my channel get where it needs to be. But, um, anyways, I want to get into this video, you know, just talking about my favorite, um, my favorite players, you know, just, just, you know, the, the basketball talk, because, you know, I, you know, I was saying that I'm going to keep, I'm, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to talk this segment, man, about this segment, I'm going to keep this segment going, so... Make sure y'all, if you're new, subscribe, press the um, bell, and turn on post notifications so you can get my video when I upload and you won't miss out on no video. And make sure you just um, like the video, comment, and you already know, share the video. Let me know what you think about my videos, man. I'll tell y'all, man, keep it real, man. Like, you know what I mean? You know, it's still gonna get better. But anyways, yes, I just want to talk about my favorite players and just, you know... You know, because some players that I like, but I never really, you know, I really never, I never really, like, say, oh, I'm, I'm a, this, this is my favorite player, I'm a fan of this player. No, I just like what they do. Some players, I just like what they do. And they, you know, I just like what they do. And I and I give them credit on being good, really good players, you know what I mean? And, but yeah, so, I'm about to get into it. Anyway. Let me know in the com comments below who your favorite player is and stuff like that. But one of my favorite players is LeBron James, Carmelo, Dwight Howard, you know, um, well, the, the, um, Dwight Howard, he really fell back a little bit with his game, y'all. I don't, I don't know, he really fell back in the game. I was ready to see him because he went to the Wizards this year. So I'm ready to really see Dwight Howard do something on the Wizards. But he been hurt. I don't know what they going to do with him. If they going to put him on a different team again. Because they been switching him around to different teams. And it's like, man, I'm, I'm trying to. Man, I want to see what Dwight Howard going to do, man. Is he going to be back to what he was, man? Like he was on Orlando. You know what I mean? Or it's going to be the same thing. Like his game going to go down like, like, like it was when he went to the Lakers. <laughs> After he left the Magic, everything, his game just haven't been the same. Just like Carmelo. Every, ever since Carmelo left the Denver Nuggets, his, his game never been the same. So, you know, I don't, I don't understand because LeBron is around the same age, you know, and Chris Paul, and they still effective. They play still effective, you know what I mean? At the, 
you know, for them to be 33, 34, whatever, they still play effective. So, you know what I mean? It's just that, I don't know, man. Carmelo had an illness, you know, went down. Dwight Howard went down. And and, and players I like, you know, two right, that's playing right now is um, Kyrie Irving. I like Kyrie Irving. You know, after Kyrie Irving hit that big, big um game winner in um and game um and game seven against the Warriors in two thousand I think that was two thousand and um sixteen when Cavaliers won the championship I think it was that year. I think it was that year. When they won the championship in two thousand sixteen. Or I I think it was no two thousand fifteen? One of them years. I I I gotta I gotta relook that up, you know. But Kyrie Irving hit that game winner over Stephen Curry, and on Stephen Curry. So after that, man, I'm like, in big game situations, you can get Kyrie the ball. He can do his thing in, 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 in big game situations. You get him the ball, he gon' he gon' he gon' knock down a, a shot for you. In big game situations, either tie the game up or win the game for you. So you can believe in Kyrie Irving. I'm not saying he's knocking down every time if you give him big game situations. But he but he's something to believe in to get him the ball in game and big game situations. You know, so I like Kyrie Irving. You know, I've been liking Chris Paul, but I never really said he's my favorite player, but I've been watching him since since Chris Paul started. You know what I mean? Since Chris Paul started his career, I watched him. When he when he was on New Orleans, man, man, I used to watch his games. Woo! Like I used to watch Carmelo when Carmelo was on Denver playing with J.R. Smith, they was doing their thing. So you know, it, it, it's you know, and and I like right now I like James Harden. I like step back James Harden do, and they do the cooking up thing. You know, I, I like James Harden. James Harden, uh, James Harden, a good player with that step back, with that step back in that three, with that step back, he step back shoot that three. That's unlimited, and and hey. Really, James Harden is an unguardable player. He's an unguardable player. He is. Just like Russell Westbrook is an unguardable player. Really. Really. He can be guarded. You know, um, Russell Westbrook, but he's an unguardable player. Just like Kevin Durant is really an unguardable player. But he's more guardable player. They they is most unguardable player than any else player, though. Like, Darren Lewinsky was an unguardable player, though. Don Lewinsky, seven feet. He can fade away like that. He can pump fade. Oh, fade away. It's, like, it, it, it's just unguardable, man. How can you guard somebody that can do that at seven foot? But Don Lewinsky was able to do that. Unguardable. You know, you know, players like Tim Duncan. You know, I give them credit like Tim Duncan. Retired, you know, but I gave him his credit when he's playing. I like what he did, you know, but I never really... I really never liked him, them, but I give him credit though. But I really never said Tim Duncan. I like Tim Duncan. He's my favorite player. You know, he's on my radar. I never said nothing like that. But I like, but I give him respect and I like what he did in the league, man. Because he came with the mentality of toughness. He came with toughness. Tim Duncan came with toughness. You know, and I, and I like the but the player I liked on the team the most on the Spurs is Tony, Tony Parker. Now Tony Parker not on the team no more. I don't know why they gave him up, and he's been on the team since, like, how long? Playing with Tim Duncan, Monty Ginobili. Oh, and he and he gone like that this year, and he off the team. Come on. And and Tony Parker, like, th- what, 35, 36? And you just getting him off the team, Spurs? Now all this time he's been on the team. That's bogus. But you know how business goes. It's business moves, man. NBA, NBA, no joke. You know how it goes, man. Business moves. I like the Miles Ginobili, you know, with his threes and stuff. But I even, like I said, the same thing about um, t- um, Tim Duncan. Same thing about Miles Ginobili. He's cool. I, I gave him respect still, just like I gave Kobe respect. I, I, and one of my favorite players too that I like that played, but he retired because eventually injuries hit him. But he did play with Carmelo, for, and then he went, and then he played on seventy. Went back to the Seventy Sixers. So he played for, and then he was, he got, you know, that injury hit him. Allen Iverson. Allen Iverson, I think he could have did way more in the league, but he got hurt. He was a six feet. Man, hey. Allen Iverson was a six feet beast. 
He was. He was six feet, five eleven, whatever. He was a beast, you know. But to me, I think Andrade was really five eleven or five ten. But he was a beast though. And players I like now, who I like now, um, I don't know who the players I like now, man. You know, um, I know players like Jason Tatum that played for the Celtics. He he's a good player. You know, I I really never grab, I haven't gravitated to him yet. But he but last year he came in the league like he been in the league. He ain't played like the rookie. He came like he been in the league. Certain players come like they been in the league. And, and Jalen Brown good too, you know. Al Horford, he's good, you know. I get respect about his game, man. What he can do with his game, you know. How he can post up, you know what I mean. He can um, grab. He can, he been shooting three-pointers lately. You know, a lot of big men now be shooting three-pointers, you know. They be doing that. Shooting three-pointers, they be big men. Like, Brooke Lopez be shooting three-pointers. Robin Lopez that do the same thing, his brother. And so, you know. It's players that's good, and you know that's player that's real good. But and I like you know players that's decent. No, I ain't gonna say decent. He's supposed to be like a superstar player. Paul George, he's supposed to be like a superstar player. Beside Westbrook helping him out, and you know, and stuff like that. And player like um, Stephen Adams is good for the um, Thunder man. He's he he's, he's he got better from when I first seen him. He was like okay, but then he got better. Brook Lopez. I mean, Stephen Adams have got better as a big man, though. He has. So, you know, it's some big man in the league that's good right now. You know. But it's it's not a lot of big man that's really dom dominating in the league now. And in today's league, it's like, and today how the league go, a lot of, a lot of, it's not a lot of defense, man. It's defense there and there. But some, some, you know, some players, man, be slacking on defense, man. I be like, dang, you one minute you playing defense and then one minute you slacking on defense. So that's that's how it is in today's league, man. It's 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 it's, it's, it's crazy, man. But um, you know, I go on and on about back in the days. Back in the days, I like Akeem Olajuwon. I liked it, Carl Malone. You know, I like Gary Payton. Hey, I, I hey, and one of my players I did like very much is Ray Allen. Ray Allen was a good player, but his three pointer was good. You know, he could knock down three pointers. He could do a lot, man. You feel me? With with his, with his game, man. Like he can dunk. He dunked. He dunked. You know, he did other stuff besides three pointers, but he shot a lot of three pointers. But you know, he's a catch and shoot a three pointer. Stephen Curry is you no know, too, but. After seeing Stephen Curry, he was an unbelievable three-point player. When you seen back in the days, Larry Bird that played for the Celtics, you seen him, Larry Bird. You seen, you know, him knock down all his three-pointers. Like, one game he was knocking down three-pointers like it's nothing. Same thing like Ray Allen. I've seen one game in the playoffs. I think they were going against the Lakers and in the finals. And Ray Allen hit like nine three-pointers in one series in the game, man. In the game in one series, man. And I... But... After seeing Stephen Curry, it's unbelievable, man. That's 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 like unbelievable, because I have seen Stephen Curry like shoot half court in his regular form. He shot half court in his regular form. So Stephen Curry is that good at three pointers. Not saying the other people was, but he he his, his was just unbelievable, man. After seeing him, man, he he topped the three point game, man. After that, it, it's crazy. But um, yeah, Rattler was a good three point shooter. You know, back in the days, you know. Ray Allen didn't get drafted in the 2000s. Ray Allen got drafted in the, um, I think he got drafted back in the days. I forgot what year he got drafted. So some players were able to still play in the 2000s, like Tim Duncan. I think Mario Ginobili was supposed to retire now after this year. Dwayne Wade, to, oh, that's one of my favorite players. Yes, I've been watching Dwayne Wade since day one. Dwayne Wade, uh, I, th I think Dwayne Wade got drafted in, in the 2000s. Um, but, you know, he re you know, he, he supposed to retire after this year. And, oh, I think Majinobi already retired. I don't know um, if he did or, you know, he's still going. But I know Dwayne Wade supposed to retire after this year. I haven't kept up with Dwayne Wade and watched um, his game, you know what I mean? And see how he, he at the age he is right now because right now he's like 36, 37. Well, I think he turned 37. And I, I, I kept up with highlights, and, you know, I was on and off watching highlights. You know, I watch highlights. If I can't get to a game and watch it, I watch the highlights. If I miss it, but, you know, I want to watch Get a game, especially watching Lakers, because my favorite player, especially LeBron, that's and Dwayne Wayne, for a favorite player, he's still playing, but he probably retired this year. So you know, if he do really retire after this year, I'm not gonna see play because you know he's he, 
Dwayne Wade 37, and LeBron signed four years with the Lakers. So LeBron, after this year, he got three more years to go with the Lakers. And then his contract up, and then it's like if if his if if his player option, if his player option, that means it's his option. Do he want to stay or leave? You know what I mean? But anyways, um, so I've been on and off with it, man. Even highlights, man. I haven't catched no highlights, man. But I did watch the game on Christmas Day. The Celtics. I watched the um. I watched some of the um Lakers versus the Warriors, and Lakers doing good against the Warriors, and and Lakers did win that game. I forgot what the score was. And then I watched the whole, um, I forgot when I come in to watch it, the Celtics and um, 76ers game. And I know Celtics won that game. And you know Jimmy Butler, he's a good player. He's a good player that I like, Jimmy Butler. And he went to the 76ers. And I guess, man, putting Jimmy Butler on the 76ers just made the squad just more more better. But, you know, players like Ben Simmons, he good. Um, Joel Embiid, good. You know, um, J.J. Reddick. I don't know J.J. Reddick still on the um. 76, I think he is. I don't know. But it just makes the squad more legit now. Like, they got more legit. Like, they can make a more legit lineup. Like, like a, like, legit lineup. Like, really make that lineup where it's like, dang, he got some beasts in that lineup. You know what I mean? So, yes, man, I like Jimmy Butler and them, man. It's a lot of players I like, man, from back in the days. You know, I, well, back in the days on some teams I like, I gave Magic Johnson his respect. You know, Akeem Olajuwon, his respect. You know, players like Michael Jordan gave his respect. You know, Scotty Pippen. But I really never got into him and say, really, I like these players. These are my favorite players. But I have gave them respect and say they was really good. Because, you know, they, you know, Michael Jordan was a superstar. Mike Johnson was a superstar. Akeem Olajuwon was an all-star player. You know, very good. Scotty Pippen was an all-star player. Very good. You know what I mean? They never was called all-stars like Akeem Olajuwon or... Scotty Pimp was never called superstars, but they was called like good all star players, man. You know, to help a team out and really still play good up to a high level. So I gave certain players that respect, and you know, it's it's a lot of it's some of the players I like back in the days, man. You know, so because some players was good, man, but I had players that stand out that really my favorite players, and that really like I gravitated and watched a, a, a lot more. You know what I mean? Because I seen some old school games on on TV. And I seen some, you know, old old games of Chris Paul, Carmelo, you know, on T all all them. I watched a lot of games, man, from back in the days to the two thousands, man. So, you know, a lot of players, man, I like I like Rick Fox game, you know what I mean? A lot of players that play with Kobe. Shaq and Kobe played together. Um, you know, Shaq and Dwayne Wade played together. So, man, when Shaq and Dwayne Wade played together, man, they won that championship in two thousand and six, man. I was like, dang. So, you know, it was crazy, man. A lot of people came and redeemed themselves and won a championship. Some players didn't, man. Like Charles Barkley didn't win no championship or nothing like that. Um, I don't know. It's just they didn't. He didn't win no championship, but you know. But yeah, they didn't win no championship. But um, like Dunn Whiskey finally won a championship, but he won his in 2011 when they beat the um um. Miami Heat, when LeBron played with Dwayne Wayne on Miami Heat and Chris Bosh, they all played together, them three. And, you know, but they lost in 2011, but they came back to back and won 2012 and 2013. I think, yeah, they, they won 2012 and 2013 back to back championships. I think that's how it went. They won back to back. LeBron won back to back on Miami Heat, so, yeah, um, you know, they played together, but Dern Whiskey had got his ring, though. I think Dern Whiskey not playing no more. I think he's supposed to retire. I don't know when, after this year or whatever year. But he's supposed to retire after this year or that year, man. You know, Dwayne, you know, Dern Whiskey had a good career. I gave him respect, man. I liked his game, man. You know, fade away on one foot. You know, I, I liked his game. A lot of players, I like their game, but it's the players that I like. That was my favorite player that I watched a lot more. So, yeah, I go on and on, but, you know. I go on and on, but you know, I'm gonna keep this. You know, I go on and on, but it'd be a long, long video about going on and on. Boom, boom, boom. You know, I'm gonna do these basketball talks. So y'all gonna hear me do basketball talks. If you, you know, videos are bringing that on basketball. There's different stuff, man. Um, So, hope y'all be tuning tune in. And, and, cause you know, I want more people to tune in and show support to the channel. And people that subscribe, show, if you subscribe, show love. Stay subscribed, man, cause if, from day one, man, I might remember you. You never know. I might remember you. 
We ain't never been here since day one, you know. So if you subscribe, stay subscribed. More videos coming, so you know. Yeah, y'all, more videos coming. So make sure you support the channel. And just do that and show love. Cause you know it's all real love over here, no fake love. It's all real love over here, no fake love. You know, it's just positive vibes, man, on my channel, man. No negative, man, no bullshit, man. All realness, man, all happiness, man. I'm just trying to grow my channel, man. Vlogs gonna come, get my equipment, what I need. I'm, I'm just happy right now, man. January 1st, man, I'm popping off with two videos. I'm popping it off, man. Follow me on social media, man. That's gonna be in the description. And make sure you do that. Follow me on social media, because that being and well as you know, whatever else in the description. And just go in the pinned comments, man. I might put something in the pinned comments I said or whatever. But make sure y'all show love, comment, man. Do all that, man. Subscribe if you're new, man. Show love. Like the video. Share the video. Turn on post notifications by pressing that bell. I appreciate the love, man. I go on and on to talk about players and players and players in one video, but it'd be super, super long. I had one of my basketball videos that I talked about the Western Conference, Eastern Conference, just different stuff. You will see what I if you watch if you watch the video, you will see what I talk about in that video, man. I'm, you'll just see what I talk about. Um, but that's what I talked about. Something I talked about in the video, that video, but make sure you go watch that video and all my other videos. Um, I'm bringing these videos, man, as I can, man. I know I missed the 26 and 27, but I'm I'm trying to be on my game and posting these videos, man. I'm not giving up, man. I'm not letting up, man. I'm staying on my game, man. I don't care how I'm feeling. Sometimes, sometimes I'm gonna push and put out videos. Sometimes it's gonna have me not post videos, but I'm 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 just working, man. I'm just um staying loyal to a grind, man. So my channel can get better, and I'm gonna be learning, 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 man. Because that's stuff I don't still know, man. I don't know how to do stuff good enough and make my video decent, but you know. It's going to be better quality, better things going on with my channel, man. Just better things, man. So show love, man. I appreciate it, man. All real love, no fake love. Because all real is no fakeness. It's all real is for me, no fake love. It's positivity, no negativity. It's, you know, man. Do some movement game. It's been good. I love y'all, man. Make sure you just, man, never stop supporting me. Once you support me, because we never end in videos, man. I'm going to go home with this, only this, how long I can do YouTube. You know what I mean? However long I can do YouTube. And, and and eventually when I get paid, however long I can get paid, you know, and keep going with this, man. If they don't shut YouTube down and make, and people going to have to stop doing YouTube, man. I'm going to just do it while I can, man, and just push out a lot of videos and do this continuous, take it far, man. So, man, make sure y'all support, man, and just hope, hopefully they never do that and shut down and people can't do YouTube, you feel me? No more, but, man, make sure you support. Like I said, man, I can't say it enough, man, because I love my gang, man. Make sure you join the gang because more videos, man. I go on and on about this, man, and talk about different players and different players and different players, man. Um, one player I do like, too, is Clint, Clint, Clint LaPella, man. He's a good player, too, man. Clint LaPella, a good player. It's different players that's good, man, and what they can do. Clint LaPella can do. I like what he's doing his game, man. How he can um, grab alley hoops, do a lot of stuff, man. It's a lot of players that could do a lot of stuff, man. Bragney, like players like um, Brag Brandon Ingram got better. Um, players like that got better. Um, you know, got better somewhere. I can see that got better. Um, Kyle Kuzma got someone better, man. And I guess they they push their game up and you know, cause LeBron on the team now, so they gotta work and do stuff for the team. You know what I mean? Even though they're still young, they still gotta do what they do for the team. And they still got to, you know, play with a high level, you know what I mean? Even though they still young and still got develop, more developing to do, you know what I mean? And more to get better, better, better in the league as NBA players. But, you know, they are young. But, hey, they still got to play at a high level because they got to help LeBron out. You know what I mean? It's a lot of players. I like what they do, man. I like when Lance Stevenson do the crossover. I like when he do his little one-on-one -on -one thing, man. You know, it's, all, it's a lot of players, man. So I go on and on about this, man. I can go on talking about how Chris Paul game was, how Carmelo game was, LeBron, this and that. But, you know, I don't want to make this video super duper long. So, um, I'm y'all going to catch me in the next video about if you watch the next video. And I'm, I'm going to come with another segment, man, about um, basketball. Um, that's going to be in, 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 another, in, in another video eventually where I bring. And, you know, y'all get another video, another video. So, I'll put out the videos, man, and just show love, man. So I'm out of this thing, man, and each video I'm going to be talking about, I'm going to pick up and just talk about more players and this and that, how the, how the game was now or versus, you know, the, the games back in the days, how they, how it was different, how things is, because, you know, the rules change now. Things is more like soft nowadays. 
you touch somebody, boom, bow, this and that. So stuff has changed nowadays with cars. There's different things changed nowadays. So I might just talk about like how this, how how players did in this game or this and that happened from back in the day games or back in the day stuff that happened. Even now, what what goes on in this league more? I'm gonna be talking about even now. So make sure you support. And I'm out this thing, man. Gang, gang, gang. Love y'all. Gang.